Oh, one well, back to another movie review on the channel. So yeah, this is my movie review for Remnant. Resum Resumus? Resumus? Like, how do you pronounce it again? I don't know how you pronounce it. I, I completely forgot how it's pronounced. I is, is it Resumus? Resumus? Oh my god, I actually forgot how to pronounce it. But whatever it's called. So yeah, I pretty much had finished watching it uh, a couple of hours ago, actually. Uh, a couple hours ago? <laughs> I said a couple hours ago. I mean, yesterday. I finished it yesterday around like 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning because it's now Sunday because it's 12.08 as I'm looking on my clock thing. But yeah, so I tried watching this around Sunday but then fell asleep thanks to sleeping pills that get, that gave me so I wouldn't be able to miss school and stuff. And I've been trying to watch this movie all freaking week. Now you would say I I couldn't be able to watch the entire thing because it'd be bo I was starting to get to I was starting to get bored watching it and all that, but I was able to finish watching it. And now before I talk about my honest thoughts with this, so I've heard now I've heard about this a little bit, just itty tiny bit. Well, well, what I got, what I found out was just that. It's like a mystery love story, something, something. But I didn't, I honestly didn't get much. Then I got a teaser of pretty much an entire city that was flooded with Hugh, Hugh Jackman saying, you're going on a journey. A journey through memory. Your destination. All you had to do is follow my voice. I don't know if I, if, I don't know if that's the entire thing, but it was something like that. Then uh, a couple months later, which I think we got that teaser like around uh, between winter and spring. Like probably February or March. Of 2021, I honestly do not know. It's it's been a while, and then months later, we finally got the trailer. And yeah, I don't know what was I thinking this movie was gonna be about. Cause like when I reacted to that trailer, which I have definitely reacted to it in a double trailer reaction. When I reacted to that trailer, oh that that trailer won me over. It was it's probably one of the best trailers I've ever seen in 2021. Well, nowhere near best as Godzilla vs Kong or better. No way home teaser trailer. But still, it was a really good teaser. It was a really good trailer. And it that trailer won me over. I, I, I'll tell you that. That trailer won me over. And I had said that this, that, that, this, that, wait, what is it that I said? What is it that I said exactly about the trailer? Wait, right, I'm gonna go check it out. Alright, so I'm watching my trailer reaction for uh, Resumus, if I'm found that correctly. August 20, holy crap! Alright, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I, I don't know if I was paying attention, but... <clears throat> yeah, I gotta watch this with Mom. I gotta watch this with Mom. Two reasons. Uh, one, I, I know for a fact she would be interested in watching this, and two, it's probably gonna be alright, and it's... Alright, uh, two things. One... Whatever I just said there about that this that my mom would definitely want to watch this movie because I, I feel like this is her type of movie she would want to watch. But what did I say exactly? Yeah, I gotta watch this with mom. I gotta watch this with mom. Two reasons. Uh, one, I, I know for a fact she would be interested in watching this. And two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, she would definitely be interested in watching this. And two, something I thought didn't even... That, like, I I had thought the movie was going to be alright, but no, it was PG-13, so thank freaking God. But still, so yeah, that trailer won me over, and so yeah, now after finally watching it, I thought I was going to, I honestly thought I was not going to like it for multiple reasons, but I really, really liked it. But yeah, so I, I honestly want to talk spoilers for this movie, I really, really do. But I'm going to have to make this a uh, spoiler review, sadly. Oh, uh, why? Oh, I'll tell you why. There's two reasons. Uh, one, people probably haven't seen it. And you guys might be interested in seeing it. But mostly reason number two. I know for a fact my mom is going to be seeing this video. And if she does, I'm pretty much going to be ruining the movie for her. Because I honestly would like to watch this with her once I head home. Back home around 2022. And I'm going to try and watch this movie with her. And by the time I head home... It'll be on HBO Max anyway, since uh, Godzilla vs. Kong came out on HBO Max and then left on HBO Max on April 30th. But still, so March, April, May, June, July, August. August is when it officially arrived on HBO Max, as in permanently, because, you know, March and April were like 31 days 
in theaters, but 31 days on HBO Max thing. So yeah, by the time I I get get back home, it'll be on it'll be on HBO Max because um when will it arrive on HBO Max? Resumes, I mean, uh, August, September, October, November, December, January, and when will I get home? Oh, May or June. So, it'll be on HBO Max. So, either I'm going to actually try to buy the DVD, or I'm going to watch it on HBO Max with my mom. And I'm actually going to try to get my mom's reaction. I'm actually going to do a movie reaction with my mom, because there's some twists and turns and some shocking moments. I think my mom's going to lose her... Uh, excuse me. Shh, if you get what I mean. Because, yeah, that, that's my goal for 2022. I'm actually going to try to get my mom's reaction to Resumus. If she doesn't end up seeing it, mom, if you're watching this, do me a favor. Do not watch that movie without me. Because once I get home, you and I are going to be watching it together. And I'm going to get your goddamn reaction with it. With it. Did that, did, that, did that come out correctly? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. But yeah. Uh, and if you are watching this, I'll tell you this, mom. You might enjoy this movie. You might enjoy this movie. But still, I... Surprisingly, really like this movie. Now, people are kind of 50 50 with it. I, they're kind of 50 50 with this movie and saying that it's like a Christopher Nolan knockoff or something, which I'm like, yeah, I don't see that, but not that I'm disagreeing. It's just I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. I kind of don't see what they're talking about, but that's not the point. Still, I really like this movie, and this is kind of like a thriller slash love story and mystery, something like that, those three things combined, but, like, I really, really like this movie, it's just, oh, man, I really want to talk spoilers for one of the most craziest things that shocked me, because there are lots of twists and turns and shocking moments in the movie, just, I mean, I mean, the movie is about um, Hugh Jackman, who's playing this character, Nick, Who's trying to find um, someone he had met and kind of fell in love with, but now, but pretty much uh, the character who he fell in love with is named May. She disappears out of nowhere, and he's trying to find out where she gone, where she went, why she disappeared. But then she's pretty, he's pretty much finding out some other stuff about her that he that she did not tell him, but just oh man, I oh man, like this, this it's kind of like it really is a love story, sort of. I don't know how to explain, it, but it really is a love story with um. Nick and May, but just, I, I'm completely speechless. Plus, that song that was featured in the trailer, now, I did find that song, but it didn't, it wasn't as good as I liked how it sounded in the trailer, but after listening to it a couple of days, listening to it multiple times, I've grown to like it. So, yeah, that song that is called uh, Save My Love, yeah, I'm pretty much addicted to it. I've been listening to that nonstop. And, like, when the movie had ended, I'm, like, waiting for that song to play. Because I know for a fact that that song would be playing by the credits. And, boom, it played in the credits. And I was satisfied to hear it. Because, like, I'm addicted with that song. I really am. I really am. That's one of the best songs I've heard in 2021. But, still, I really like this movie. Um, So, yeah, of course, the love story was a bit interesting. Now, there's some interesting stuff in here. Or, in other words, uh... Uh, how, do, how, do, how, do, how do I explain this? Um, yeah, I definitely should have taken notes. This is, I definitely should have taken notes. But but here but there's one thing I I would like to know about, and I I guess it would sound like a negative, but I'm not saying this as a negative. But there's just one thing I would like to know, on this like I kind of want I would kind of would like to explore more of this world, because um one reason why. And basically what I'm trying to say is that I would like to know how the hell did it, an entire city, or worse, the entire planet, get flooded. Like, like as much as I like the movie, there's one thing I'm curious about. Because the movie just mainly focused with Nick trying to find May and then other stuff. But, I mean, he does explain, like, when the waters begin to rise, a war broke up. But, like... Can we get some details about how this even all how all this even happened in the first place and what year this takes place? Because I would like to get I would like to explore more of this and just like to find out how this all even happened. It's like no joke. This entire it would sound like a spoiler, but it's shown in the trailers. Like the an entire city is flooded. Like I would like to know how the hell an entire city, pretty much Miami, and apparently. Pretty much, how did the entire planet get flooded? Like, how did that even happen? 
I'm like, how did that even happen? Like, I'm very curious to know about that. And, but just me saying that, it pretty much just sounds like I want, I want them to make a prequel of this to how this all started with, um, with the wars rising and how the war broke out. I pretty much would like, I guess I would like to see a prequel of this. Yeah, I definitely would like to see a prequel of this, but still, and there's just one thing I have thoughts with the ending. Now I'd say I'm 50, 50 with it, but I thought the ending was pretty satisfying. For some reason. I mean, I, I feared, I I called it a sad ending because uh, Nick said that there are no good, and there are no happy endings that are um, sad endings. It, it That sounds a bit of a spoiler, but it's not a, like, it's not like a big deal. It really is not a big deal, but still, I pretty much, he's got like a point about that because like there are sad endings. There are no good endings. Now that I think about it, I mean, there's probably good endings, but are there really good endings? I don't know. I don't know. But I really enjoyed this movie. And when I get home, I'm I'm going to get my mom's reaction. And we're going to be watching this together. Because she's definitely going to be. She's, she's, I know for a fact she's going to enjoy watching this movie. But anyways, let's get down to business. So for action, I'm going to give three stars 60%. Because there's a couple of action going on. Mostly for uh, some fight scenes. Uh, run and chase. And I guess. Good shots. Um, now, and for comedy, honestly, I don't even know if there's any any jokes or any funny moments in the movie, but I'll put one, one and a half star, 10%, in case if there's a funny scene that I, that I miss or did not pay attention to. And for drama, I'm going to give four and a half stars, 70%. I would give it probably four stars just, to, just because of me knowing how this all happened, but we... We don't get to know how every how the cities have flooded and everything. Just it's just mo- this, the movie's mainly focused with Nick trying to find May and just everything else. But still, the story, the story, the, the drama is all right in this movie. But but yeah, I'm giving drama four and a half stars, seventy percent. And for her, I'll, I'll give zero stars. There's nothing to be scared about unless you don't want your entire uh, planet to be flooded. I don't know how to explain, but just still. So horror, I'll give zero stars, but suspense, I'll give four stars, eight percent, because the suspense was pretty all right in this movie. But like, I'm, I'm just because I'm like curious to know what's going on, where's May, and all that. Cause just I'm just having multiple questions and just qu- question, just wondering what the hell is going on and everything. And I'll, also, one thing before I finish the, this review skill, there's one part that kind of creeped me out, and it's that one of the characters. Now this would sound like a little bit of a spoiler, but it should not be a big deal at all. But this this old lady has been repeating, like doing the same thing for years, and it's just like, okay, that is freaking creepy. I don't know how to explain it, but once, but you'll see what I mean once I hopefully get my mom's reaction to the movie. But still, anyways, I'm gonna give the movie five stars. But yeah, for casual fans, I'll give it a B minus. Cinephiles, uh, B. And critically, B plus, eight out of ten. And for the moist beer, I'm giving it an eighty-seven percent. But yeah, I, I suggest you see this. You see this movie either on HBO Max or in theaters. Then again, it's your choice. But yeah, it'll be streaming on HBO Max till September nineteenth. So, yeah, yeah, just just thought I'd like to know that and stuff but still that's just my thoughts on resume res, res, resumes resumes i cannot pro- how the hell did i did i forget how to pronounce that how, how the hell did i forget how to pronounce that i literally watched the movie like just like a couple of hours ago how did i forget to pronounce it but still if you have i definitely recommend you guys check out this movie yeah you, you might not like it you might like it but honestly i think you might Find something interesting. You might you might enjoy yourself watching this movie. But I really like the movie. But again, recommend you guys to check this out. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you have seen this movie. And do stay tuned because I will. I, I, I'm being serious about this. For my goal in 2022, I'm going to get my mom's reaction, which will technically be a movie reaction, to Resumes. I'm going to get her reaction to that. And if she hasn't seen the trailer, I might as well get her reaction to the trailer too. But still, mom, if you're watching this, do me a favor. And do not watch the movie without me, because we're going to be watching that together. And also, I love you, Mom. Wait, that sounded weird. Oh, no, God, I just embarrassed myself. But still, if you're watching this, I love you, 3000, Mom. If you are watching this. Okay, now I'm just embarrassing myself. But still, that's what that's my thoughts on resumes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next movie review. Peace out.